look at this the simplest f that you can come across look at that don't worry with the size but you can see that is an f now in that f if i can put it separately you can see that i've got something like this something like this and something like this this is an f now where is the corresponding part that angle down there is equal to that angle down there are you with me that's what it means to correspond Hello our most valued student, my name is Confident and welcome to our revision session or our lesson per se, not re really a revision one, but it's a lesson where I'm looking at the geometry of straight lines. I will encourage you to grab hold of the previous lessons here, there are two lessons I've done and this is the third lesson. Remember to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe right now so that every time I'm posting a new video, you are notified. Remember, this is done with you in mind and the aim is to ensure that you excel in your final exam. Let us look at this word corresponding angles. Now, just a recap. In the previous lesson, I said there is what is called parallel lines. And parallel lines, you can have two lines like this. And as long as these lines will never meet, and you indicate them by having lines, like, I mean these arrows, it means those two lines are parallel. So it means A, B is parallel to C, D. And how do you write it? A, B, then you've got two lines, and then you've got C, D. It means you're telling us A, B is parallel to C, D. But you can try to draw another different line. For example, if I draw a line like this, and I draw another line like that, and leave it like that, you can see that these lines are not parallel. Why? Because somehow, somehow, at the end, these lines are going to meet. And when lines meet like that, and cross each other, you can see that they are crossing each other there. They cannot be parallel lines. Parallel lines mean that distance must always be the same. But you can see this distance is thinning out. It's becoming small and small. Why? Because these lines are going to meet. But not for parallel lines. Parallel lines, that distance never changes. So these are lines that will never meet each other. Now, when I've got a parallel line, to introduce this topic of uh, corresponding angles, I said the ease a transversal line it's a transversal line that you can draw let's call it uh, a b c d e and f it's a transversal trans transversal line transversal the word is transversal it is this line that i just drew here ef so ef is a transversal line the moment i do that that is where now I introduce this lesson of corresponding angles. Now, what is it? What 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 does it bring? Uh, what property or what role does this line play? Now, look at this. The first easier corresponding angles that you ever come about is for you to identify the letter F. So you know how to write F. This is F. See that? That's what you're looking for whenever you're looking at trans. I mean corresponding angles let's try to identify our first letter in this case it's our letter f there it is let me just show you here if i use my red marker and make it a bit thicker look at this the simplest f that you can come across look at that don't worry with the size but you can see that is an f now in that f if i can put it separately you can see that I've got something like this, something like this, and something like this. This is an F. Now, where is the corresponding part? That angle down there is equal to that angle down there. Are you with me? That's what it means to correspond. The same angle is equal to the same angle. So, meaning 
if I can come back to my diagram here and say that angle is equal to that angle. Are you getting that? So if this angle, for example, this was um, X and this was point Y. So what can you say? If this is 1 and that point is 2, so what you're going to write is you're going to say X angle X1 is equal to angle X, I mean Y2 angle y2 and what is the reason you are going to say corresponding this is how you write you say core angles that sign there represent angles and then you tell us a b is parallel to c d that's what made you come up with a corresponding angle is because of the parallel lines there are many ways you can identify our f here let's try to identify another f just from those two lines, I'm going to change my uh, color of the pen. Look at this. I can actually come up with an F that is shaped the other way around. That one, that one, and this one. Do you see that? That is an F. If I just extend these lines, making them longer, look at this. See that? Look at this. See that? It's just an F that has been change direction is more like I got this F and I took this to this side and I took this to the other side it's like when I did this and uh, exactly like that just that it don't allow me to to skew it but look at this you see that kind of F that I'm, I'm talking about so this is the one that we have again you can come up with a corresponding angle do you see it that angle is equal to that angle it means it's corresponding they are corresponding is at the bottom of the line is at the bottom of the line do you see that now can you identify another f so here the one that we found here it is something like this like this i'm just maintaining uh, that shape to say that was equal to that don't forget your parallel lines are very very important they need to be parallel lines that's the condition any other uh, F that you can see, yes, I can see an F, but let me draw it with another different line. I'll bring my yellow again back here. Look at this. If I can draw my line like this, and then I draw my line like that, and then I got a line like that. I've got another type of F, you see. Now, how do I identify now my corresponding angles? Look at this. If I come there and I come there, do you see also is another corresponding angle. And this type of F that I'm coming up with here, as you can see, it is this version of it. But the key thing there, guys, is corresponding. I mean, parallel lines. Parallel lines are doing all that. So this is another one. Let's try. Do we see? Do you see another one? Yes, I see another one also. If I can come up with my different marker here, and it is the same way I did the other one. Look at this. And I'm doing it on top here. I'm just going to do it on top. I'm doing it on top here, but the focus of the angle is different now. Look at it. Remember, I'm doing, dealing with corresponding angles. That is equal to that seeing that that is also corresponding angles so in short what did you see in summary we saw that corresponding angles in a way they can come up with f like this normal f okay let me make it in the center let's say our first f is like this then you'll get another one with an f that is like this always look for them Okay, then we get another one with an F that is going up like this. And then we get another one with an F that is going like this. So now if you start to label them corresponding, that is equal to that. See? And that outside is equal to that inside. And that is equal to that. And that is equal to that. What is the condition provided? These two lines must be they are It's a must. They must be parallel. So they can give it in any way. They can do that. 
and they do that they tell you these two lines are parallel and how to indicate you indicate by that and then the moment i bring my transversal line like this now you can now start to look for your f for example first one i can choose is take this one just an f take that one and take that one the moment you come up with an f you tell yourself if i want to mark that angle it is equal to that angle are you getting that you can choose any other different f to say if i've got that i got that and i got that so if i want to mark that angle is equal to that angle it's up to you remember the aim is to always focus on f and they're called corresponding angles what does it mean they are equal this angle is equal to that that angle they are equal if this is five degrees that would be five degrees they are equal corresponding angles and what is the condition the condition are these lines must be parallel to each other okay guys the next lesson i want to bring in here is not um it's what it's alternate angles when you have looked at corresponding angles the next lesson that you need to definitely uh make yourself aware of is alternate alternate angles so now join me in the next lesson where i'm going to focus on these alternate angles how to identify them and how to go about them we've come to the end of our lesson remember subscribe ensure that the notification bell is turned on thank you